have a pretty eye-opening report to share with you today, showing SAT scores, they're dropping across the board across the country and dramatically. So what does it take to be the number one school in America? CNN's Ed Lavendera, he went, he got an inside look at a Dallas school voted top-notch by Newsweek magazine. Okay, these colors you will see, I just got them yesterday, haha. -ha. Don't let the crayons and baby wipes fool you. You're seeing a bunch of tiny dots, which are the pixels. This isn't child's play. These students are learning how to write Java, a widely used computer programming language. We're going to have a quiz on Thursday. At the Science and Engineering Magnet School in Dallas, this is considered a basic course for freshmen. We want them to really quench that thirst for knowledge. Javon Wells is the principal of the School of Science and Engineering. Newsweek ranked at the number one public high school in America. Here's why. Some of your students take three math classes a day? Absolutely. Uh, I didn't even know you could take that much math. We have some students that can handle that challenge of taking Algebra 2, Geometry, Pre-Calculus, and Calculus all in the same year. And then the third thing you need to do is this. Students take a rigorous series of math and science courses that most schools don't even offer. Dozens of college-level labs in their junior year. The students have won so many academic contests, they've run out of room to show off the trophies. So all of these are our trophies. And then we have tons of trophies here, in boxes, just <laughs> everywhere. This school has a unique culture and sense of humor. 400 students, all completely infatuated with learning. Christian Uyoa is a senior. So he says students Christian, feel at home here. Everybody here is a nerd, in, in, in a way, right? Some more than others, but we're all nerds. Inside, we're all nerds. And that's what got us here, and that's, when get, that's what's going to get us through here. It's not a question of if you'll go to college, but which top school you'll get into. Alfredo Arpedo's father didn't graduate from high school. Now this freshman has his sights set on MIT. Getting the acceptance letter to this school was the first step. I would go check the mail, and I was upset because I wouldn't find it. And I told, the day I told my mom, I don't think I'm in, and she went to go, got, she went to go get the mail. And it was there. I was so happy. <laughs> I was relieved, too. American students are falling behind the rest of the world in math and science. Parents like Sylvia Carlson say this school is preparing the two kids she sent here to compete. That's what our country needs. And so what better way to foster scientists, entrepreneurs, engineers, the thing that we need for our country to continue to climb that mountain and to stay on top. Here, everyone has this common bond because everyone loves math or science. Everybody understands the physics joke that you just told. I mean, it's just a great environment. And I felt that way. Are they are funny. You know, they're funny to our, our, our group here. And that's the point, creating a space where young minds flourish. Ed Lavendera, CNN, Dallas.